Now that I have the designs done in my waves in the water, I'm going to do my designs in the sky. And for the sky, I'm going to use warm colors. So I'm going to use yellows, reds, and oranges. And again, I can use dark reds or light reds. I can use dark and light oranges, dark and light yellows. So I'm going to use warm colors to fill the sky. And in the section where the light is, where you drew the light, you're going to fill that in with yellow. So you can choose if you want to actually color it in. Some people wanted to color in that whole space with their crayons. You can color in that entire space with your crayons. Or if you want to, you can do a design in it where you do kind of like curls or you can do straight lines or zigzag lines. You can fill it in with yellow designs. Either way will work and either way is fine. I think for mine I'm going to do kind of a combination of both. So I'm going to fill in some yellow to start it off, fill it in all the way, and then as I get out further I'm going to start doing line designs like this. And then spread it out even more. So I'm doing something kind of like that. Maybe I'll add a few more in here. Kind of make it look like it's gradually getting lighter as it goes out. Something like that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Fill it in. You can choose again if you want to color the whole thing in, if you want to do a design, if you want to do something like I'm doing where you kind of combine the two. Draw those lines coming out. And then I'm going to fill it off to the edges. Fill it all the way off to the edges. Just like that. So I've got my light filled in. And then in this space here, you're going to use lines to show what the sky is like. If it's going to be really windy, if it's going to be a light breeze. Maybe it's just kind of a calm evening and every all the lines are just sideways because it's nice and calm and there's not much wind. But you're going to use lines to show that. And again, warm colors. So I think, uh, for mine, I think I'm going to do it, it's just going to be a nice calm night. So I'm going to make some lines going sideways like the wind is just kind of flat. There's not much happening. And again, I'm going to make sure I press kind of hard with my crayons. Do kind of flat lines. I want it to be a calm night, not a lot of wind. Just filling in those straight lines. Nice and calm. And then I'm going to use some orange. Ooh, that's a bright orange. Like a neon orange. I don't really like that. I think I'm going to switch it. It's kind of hard to see. And then I'm going to do some dark orange lines. I'm going to add that back in where I did the other orange so you can see it a little more. I'm do some lines going sideways. Lines going sideways. I think I'm going to make them a little closer together as I get higher. Keep going closer together as they get higher up. Press it nice and hard. Make sure the lines fill that whole space. Make sure the lines fill that whole space. Fill it all in. Fill it all in. Fill that whole space with lines. And then up here is part of the sky too, so whatever you're doing down here should kind of continue up. So I'm going to do orange lines up here, and then I think I'm going to make it kind of spread back out again, like it did at the bottom. And I think I'm going to add some red. I think it would be nice if I kind of go back to the red I started with. Oops, that's not the red I started with. This is the red I started with. Go right back to the red I started with. Kind of go across. 
see if I can cover up that pink that I put in there by accident. It doesn't look like a kid, so I'm going to add it to the other side and make it look like it was on purpose. There we go. And I have all my design in the sky. So just make sure that you're using warm colors and you can decide what kind of lines, if you want them curved, if you want them straight, if you want them zigzag, whatever kind of design you want in the sky.